Surveying is the process of determining the relative positions of points present on the Earth's surface. So mainly surveying can be either performed by using plane surveying techniques or by means of geodetic surveying. Welcome to Civil Fanatics. Today we will be dealing with geodetic surveying, its features and its process. Geodetic survey involves the survey of extensive areas that needs to take into consideration the curvature of the earth, the shape of the earth and the size of the earth. So, in this method, the baseline measurement for performing triangulation is measured from sea level length and certain corrections are made for spherical excess in terms of angular values. Geodetic surveys are used when plane surveying cannot be provided with accuracy and with precision. I have made an article on what is plane surveying and what are its features. The link is provided in the description below. Geodetic surveys are nowadays performed by using satellites that are placed 12,500 miles away from the Earth's surface. Objectives of Geodetic Survey The main objectives of Geodetic Survey are to determine the relative positions of points distance away with respect to the Earth's surface, to develop control points to conduct less precision survey works, to develop reconnaissance information. Features of Geodetic Survey the three main features of geodetic surveying that differs from a plane surveying are 1. The two points are located so far that the earth curvature cannot be deflected. As shown in the figure, we have points A and B which are far apart and the earth curvature is taken into consideration. The second is the plumb bog lines intersect at the earth center. Third, it is used to survey areas greater than 195.5 square kilometers. It is used to survey widely distant points and set as control station. Later, less precision points are surveyed using these controlled stations. Five, angles formed by triangles exceeds 180 degrees. So this is called as a spherical axis. So, it is greater than the angle formed in a triangle that is being made out of plane triangle method or plane surveying method. Process of Geodetic Surveying The geodetic surveying follows the general procedure. 1. Two station points that are at considerable distance away are chosen. Two. The latitude and the longitude of these points are determined astronomically. 3. The line joining the two points is called as a baseline which is measured accurately. 4. The position of a third point is determined by an angle made with each end of the baseline. 5. The process develops a triangle and it is called as a triangulation. Now the procedure is continued till the entire server area is mapped. I hope you understood the basic concepts of geodetic survey. For more videos, subscribe to Civil Fanatics. Thank you.